Hello again everyone, Edwin Learn back once again in this YouTube Astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about Venus in conjunct Neptune in a natal chart. Now first of, uh, first off, some of you may remember when I first started my YouTube Astrology channel, I did a series on the aspects in a natal chart. They're a little bit concise. Some people may have referred to them as snappy, so what I decided to do was make another series on them in which the videos would be a little bit longer and more descriptive. So anyway, first thing up is, well, if you have Venus uh, in conjunct Neptune in the natal chart, uh, an adjustment which is going to be in conjunct, uh, may be needed between doing what you love and enjoy, which is Venus, and uh, pursuing, you know, dreams and uh, fantasies, which is uh, Neptune. So. The thing about this is one or the other may be overemphasized. Uh, you may either be dominated by doing you know, what you're comfortable with, what you love, what you enjoy, but um, to the expense of the pursuing of uh, dreams and uh, fantasies. Or you may be so busy at times you know, pursuing dreams and fantasies as to the exclusion um, you know, to doing what you love and enjoy where you become pretty much oblivious to that. So the key um, is to find you know, the balance and the equilibrium between the two energies. And the thing is, let's say if um, you have, um, you know, Venus, you know, say it's in um, Taurus in your natal chart. Um, the things that you love to do may be tied in with gardening, you know, cultivation, architecture, music, art, it could be doing something with banking, or it'd be, um, you know, Taurus-related field, you know, which can include um, you know, doing something, you know, associated with working as a stockbroker or a pawnbroker, you know, um, doing something with banking, finance, um, geology, carpet laying as some examples. And also, too, uh, Venus in conjunct Neptune can also manifest in uh, where you have either too much or too little inspiration, which is Neptune, in making money, which is Venus. Uh, the thing is, you may either be so, you know, fixated or have so much inspiration and motivation in terms of making money, where it just dominates, you know, your existence, you know, to the exclusion of virtually everything else. Or there, you may go through uh, extensive periods where. You're just like apathetic uh, regarding uh, generating money and, and you know um, generating income and making money. Now, let's say if you have Venus in the zodiac sign Cancer as an example, you know money may be made. You know doing something with food or cooking or culinary work, uh, real estate, home improvement, home renovation, remodeling, working in interior decoration, home caregiving. Um, or it's just some home business in general as some examples. Now also too, uh, there may be an imbalance which is the in conjunct in activities uh, that are associated uh, with your relationships which can include your important friends which is Venus and uh, Neptune related people. When I say Neptune related people, it could be those that are in Neptune you know, fields or professions. It could be um, people, you know, just generally associated with the planet Neptune, whether it could be, you know, the less fortunate or people that were formerly um, imprisoned or even uh, people that may be currently incarcerated in your life. So this is where, you know, you could have that strong, you know, imbalance, you know, of that energy. It could be where, you know, where relationships may monopolize your life to the point where you're not doing what you feel like you need to do with the Neptune related people and or it could be the other way around it could be something you know where the Neptune related people you know which is um, you know any you know, people associated with that planet may be you know dominating your existence to the point where you know the activities connected with your relationships which include important friends may be taking a back seat now let's say um, if you have your Venus and Aries as an example, you know, those relationships which can include important friendships, you know, may one or more of those people may have an Aries sun, moon, or ascendant, or simply embody the characteristics of the sign. It could be, you know, people that are, you know, aggressive, assertive, forceful, courageous, independent, um, outspoken, 
uh, combative, yet may be very abrupt, impulsive, and impetuous as well. And also, too, um, it could be where, you know, the realization of one's dreams, uh, which is uh, Neptune, may have, you know, too much or too little effect uh, on your self-worth, your self-esteem, and how you feel about yourself, which is uh, Venus. Now, the thing about this is, um, you know, it could be where, I mean, let's say, you know, for example, um, if Neptune is in Scorpio in your natal chart, those dreams, you know, may be tied in, you know, with them doing something with psychology or locksmithing, you know, working, you know, you know, as a loan officer, doing something with the occult, which includes astrology, maybe working in forensics, investigation, deep research, working as a coroner or a surgeon, as some examples. And the dreams may also be tied in with simply making some, you know, major transformation uh, in your life. And it could also be, um, you know, the, the thing about, um, you know, this is to, because um, when you have in conjuncts in astrology, it can be very extreme, you know, energy, and, you know, where you have one or the other, you know, um, energy that's involved in the aspect, you know, can be overemphasized. Now, if you have Venus in conjunct Neptune in the natal chart, another way it may be expressed could be you may vacillate between you know, tremendous uh, idealism, which is Neptune, um, regarding artistic endeavors, which is Venus, and other times you may simply be, you know, apathetic about them uh, the next. Now, let's say, for example, you know, if you have your, um, you know, Venus in Gemini, you know, artistic endeavors may be you know, connected with animated or cartoon art, Venus and Aquarius could be very futuristic art, art connected with science fiction. It could be computer art or art that's very innovative and ingenious. Venus and Pisces. Now, that could be, you know, art that's very, you know, like, fantastical, you know, fictional, abstract art. It could be art that involves um, the sea, um, you know, boats. It may be, you know, art that you like to show on, um, you know, through films or videos, you know, such as, you know, um, you know a website online that, um, that, that has videos on it, you know, as uh, some examples. And also, too, um, it could be where, you know, Venus in conjunct Neptune may also manifest in going through, you know, extensive periods of doing what you love and enjoy, which is Venus, and doing so in seclusion, which is Neptune, then other times, you know, not none whatsoever. And, uh, you know, the thing is, it may be, you know, a you know thing where, like, let's say, you know, if Venus, you know, is in Leo, as an example, you know, there may be creative endeavors that you enjoy, you know, in seclusion. It may be, um, it could be some kind of, you know, something connected with entertainment or, you know, um, something that may involve acting. It may be, you know, doing something, uh, you know, it could be practicing, you know, certain Leo's connected with circus performing. It could be practicing for that or doing something related um, with sports, you know, as uh, some examples. And it may also be, you know, if you have this aspect in your natal chart, there may also be an imbalance between, you know, the relationships and socializing, which is Venus, and, you know, matters pertaining to solitude, seclusion, and isolation, which is Neptune. Now, one or the other, you know, may be um, overemphasized. It could be where, you know, at times you're dominated by the relationships and going out and socializing, you know, communicating with people. And, you know, it's the point where you don't really give yourself enough of that alone time, at su a time that is connected with your solitude. And other times you may go through very, you know, protracted periods in which, you know, solitude, isolation, and seclusion dominates the existence to the point where you put your relationships in a, you know, socialize into the back seat where you're, you know, it might go through very long periods without, you know, without those activities. So, you know, the key is, you know, just like, you know, all, you know, in conjunct aspects, the key is to find and you know, to balance the equilibrium between the two, you know, because, 
this energy can be very extreme and distorted going one way or uh, the other. So anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Lawrence saying, stay well.